afraid of the answers to these questions. Um, can left and right wing people ever meaningfully communicate with each other? And I'm wondering if you can comment a little bit about temperamentality and the differences therein. That's what they do in a democracy. Look, the lefties, they're high in openness and low in conscientiousness. And that means they don't like responsibility that much, but they're pretty damn creative. And they're not very orderly, especially they're not very orderly. And that's part of conscientiousness, by the way. And so they're good at being artists, and they're good at being entrepreneurs, but they're terrible at running things. But then the conservatives on the other side, they're low in openness, which is the trait creativity. That doesn't mean they're stupid, by the way. It just means they're, 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 their thinking isn't as free form, let's put it that way. And so it's more constrained. And they're high in conscientiousness, especially orderliness. So they're damn good at running things that already work. So you need the liberals. There wouldn't be high openness, low conscientiousness if there wasn't a niche for it. And you need the conservatives. And, and sometimes the liberals are right. The borders should be more open because that's their fundamental claim. And sometimes the conservatives are right. The borders between things should be more closed. And, and because they're both right some of the time, and because the environment keeps snaking around, you have to have dialogue between the two sources constantly, constantly, so that the, the polity can orient itself as the snake of the environment moves. And that's why you need free speech. And so the left and the right get along perfectly well together as long as they can talk to each other. But as soon as they can't talk to each other, then the alternative, there's only one alter two alternatives to negotiation. Simple as that. One is slavery, the other is tyranny. So if those you cannot negotiate with will either become your slaves or your tyrants. So you wipe out free speech, then that's what you're left with. And that's why free speech isn't just another right, for Christ's sake. It's not just another right. How dumb can you be to think that? You don't know anything if you think that. It's the mechanism by which people of different opinions talk instead of strangling each other. So, and, but if you want them to strangle each other, which you might, then really, you might then take away the right to express their opinion and watch the whole thing go up in flames and go like this because maybe that's what a big part of you wants.